Hey guys, how are you? Well, it's been quite a while, but I'm bringing in another uh, another video, and this one I'm bringing it directly about the Roma itself. Now, there has been plenty of videos out there directly upon the Roma, uh, good good games, amazing games, and everything. But one of the things that I wanted to bring this video about was specifically of the economics of the Roma itself. Now. Why do I bring this? Well, it is a it, there is a curiosity about it because I never I never did get the Missouri myself, so I wasn't able to get the old Missouri with the economics of it and everything. And also the other fact about the uh, John Bart when I joined the game, uh, the John Bart was no longer uh, available for sale, and they were always saying that these ships are these are the ships that you need to get in order to go and grind and get some silver directly for the game. So with these two ships that I cannot get for myself in order to grind for more money, I started going for the third option, and a lot of people were saying, "Oh, it's the Roma." The Roma brings out, it prints a lot of money, and then uh, people were saying on YouTube, oh, it's the Roma, but with the Kobayashi, uh, with the Kobaya uh, Kobayashi camo that I have here, the famous beer can, which is, if you ask me, I don't like it. It looks ridiculous, but okay. But I, but I really wanted to know the specifics of what the Roma would bring directly with the Kobayashi camo. And I was looking through the YouTube videos and they didn't explain. I would look through the forums and it does. And I went through, uh, I did Google search and nothing was telling me the specifics directly of what the Roma brings with the Kobayashi, um, with the Kobayashi Camel. And if you're a Star Trek fan, it goes like the Kobayashi Maru, you know, that no win scenario. <laughs> but anyway. Um, the, the fact with this one, uh, what I wanted to bring this game is because this game went okay. It, uh, as, you, as you can see, it was Epicenter and it was, uh, I was top dog here. Uh, you can see I was tier 8, tiers, and there were tier 7s and tier, uh, in tier 6s. Now, with this ship, uh, I have to say that the AP is tremendous. The, um, <laughs> how can I say, the... The concealment rate is amazing. Here in this match, I have the 13.0. That's because I hadn't completely full, uh, fully upscaled the captain, which I do have the special captain now, which I think it's Santorini, or Luigi, or whatever, uh, Mario, you know, whatever his name is. Uh, I was able to get him. I, this is my very first match with this captain, and probably around, I don't know, I probably around my fifth or sixth match on the Roma itself. So uh, I'm still learning how to use the Roma by the time I made this video. But one thing that I've noticed is the AP on this ship is amazing. Amazing AP. As you're going to look at it right now with this Fiji that is just uh, coming into my range. So I decided just to go here and blap on the air completely. Bye bye, Devastating Strike. And as you can see here, uh, one of the. Uh, one of the special abilities of Luigi has already activated, which is, has increased my firing range from 18.1 kilometers to now 19.6 kilometers. That is a huge boost if you're, uh, especially for Italian ships that have very short range. This is an amazing ability. Now, I'm continuing here in order to see what else I can uh, take out. I see that the Fusil there is giving me full broadside. I might as well use the AP on it and see what I can get. He's not moving. He's not doing anything. But with this map and this weather conditions that they have put in here, I, I get a Citadel on him. Amazing. Uh, it's very hard to, uh, to look at ships and actually properly aim. Even if I did, did get a Citadel on the Fusil right now. Still, it is, uh, how can I say, it is quite difficult, and especially with this uh, ship that I've noticed is that the dispersion rate is horrendous. It's horrendous. This, uh, the dispersion rate is, uh, on this ship, sometimes it's wonky. You, you just don't know what's going to happen. So every time you fire, you just cross your fingers that it, it will hit something, you know, because <laughs> you... you, you you don't know, you don't know, but it's part of the fun of the Roma itself. 
So one of the things also that the aroma I've noticed that I've been taking it out and you've probably seen it in other videos as well if you keep on watching is that the bow of the aroma is extremely tanky. This ship uh, has extreme good armor on the bow. On the back, forget it. As soon as you start showing your tail to somebody, you're just gonna start getting deleted. You're gonna start eating citadels even through the back, which is like unbelievable. But okay, that's the weakest part of the ship. You just have to know it and you just have to keep forward and hopefully not show broadside to anybody like I am doing right here right now, which I shouldn't do that, but let's see, okay. Let's see if I tend somebody to shoot at me. And yes, that's the Bismarck over there. So, okay, I'll return the favor. You know, I'll <laughs> he shot at me. He took in a couple of, maybe a couple K out of me. So I'll return him. But as you can see there, I have a submarine lock on me. But that's because I'm one of the closest BBs there to the cap point. There he is. Let me see if I can get some uh, uh, directly an airstrike on him. Already he's sending his... Uh, his torpedoes on me now for this i am not going to get rid of directly of any of the torpedoes right now because uh, as many of you have known right now the, the moment uh, the moment you repair you can take off the mark from you and they'll stop homing but it has to it, it, it but if you do it he will ping you again and the torpedoes will be homing now it should change soon uh because there's already changes up coming to the submarines i think they're adding like two different types of torpedoes now maybe i'll bring a video later on to see what changes i have done but for the moment it sucks <laughs> it just sucks playing against or against submarines so here i see the fuso again the one that i left before i'm trying to get my turrets there while I'll, at the same time i'm turning the ship but it literally is not good now with uh, if i don't have anybody to shoot i said okay i'll might as well shoot at the submarine see if i get anything lucky and everything but yeah of course that was a pipe dream that would never happen <laughs> But here, as soon as, because I see that the submarine is coming up here, I'm just unloading to any other strikes that I can and going behind the island because I want to get something between myself and that, uh, and that submarine because I truly do not want to be uh, its victim with its torpedoes. But, uh, but anyway, now that I'm at safety, I'm free to shoot at the Fuso uh, right now and see hopefully I get something on him. But it seems that he's stopping at the moment, even though it shows but yeah i was able at this moment get uh, directly another kill which was uh the submarine thank god <laughs> uh lucky strike with the theft uh, with the airstrike and bye bye submarine now again with the fuso here uh one thing that i have noticed directly with the roma is that uh, when you're shooting with uh, with the guns well what else would you shoot, you know? <laughs> but anyway, when you're shooting with the forward turrets, uh, sometimes it gives you good dispersion. Uh, this one I had very good one. I did I, I did take a huge chunk out of that uh, fuso, but uh, it's still I could have done better, you know? With other ships with better dispersion, it would have done. But this was like one of those moments that they decided to play good directly the dispersion. Now I'm trying to delete directly the Fuso again, but one of the things that I've noticed about the Roma itself is with the APs, though they're extremely good, they do tend to bounce a lot. These for even for the slightest angles, they tend do tend to bounce. And as you can see here, okay, yeah, I got uh, an overpin, one pin, and two shatters. That's also another thing that I don't like about these rail guns that they it has is that the AP shells do shatter. Now here I'm turning in my bow because I know that is the strongest part of my ship here. Uh, of course I have my friend here in the, <laughs> in the York trying to push me away, but I, okay, whatever. No problem, no big deal. I'm the one who's the strongest here. I got the strongest armor, I said no problem, okay. Uh, now I'm getting another shot directly here on um, on the Bismarck trying to see if I can get anything on him and uh, luckily I was able to do a 10k on him on this volley and uh, it's like I said the AP is very good uh, uh, on the Roma. Now I'm going very slowly and I'm trying to stay here because what I'm trying to do I'm the only ship that is in the middle ring trying to cap it but as long as they keep shooting at me I am not gonna cap it so uh, at this point it's gonna be a little bit boring 
because I I am detected by somebody directly in the middle ring and I am shooting. But the moment that I'm hoping for a moment that I'm not detected and I'll stop shooting in order to cap it. But nobody's contesting it and I'm just waiting for anybody to come in and I'll contest it. Like with this shores. Oh, 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 beautiful, beautiful Citadel on him. <laughs> That's something that he'll regret showing broadside, but he's going into the cap. As you can see, yeah, and with them, they're just resetting the cap with me. As long as I'm in, uh, now that I'm not detected, I decide to stay in quiet directly and not be in, hopefully, the, it, but the shores has entered directly into my cap, the one that I was doing, so I have no choice but to fire at him and show my position again. But, yeah, as long as I stay there and not doing anything, yeah, the, he's gonna take it. And another Citadel on him. <laughs> Well, so much for the dispersion of the Roma that I was talking about earlier. That's bad, but in this case, in this game, it's going bad. It's not. It's not bad. We already have over a hundred and eleven k of damage right now, and and we're just completely getting rid of the team. There's only about one, two, three, four, four uh, battleships left. So I decided to go. Okay. Might as well shoot on the, on the Veneto, and uh, knowing with this, I decided to, okay, let's start going forward, creeping in a little bit. I'm not going to be able to cap this with these guys shooting at me. Uh, I know that for a fact now that uh, that there's no DD, enemy DD to spot me or anything, so I'm just waiting for my guns to kind of go down and cool down, but I'm still getting shot at. And there's no way I can uh, cap this. And as long as the Veneto is there, I cannot cap this. So I'm starting to creep in, just waiting for a shut up opportunity. Since nobody can spot me right now, I can take my time. We're winning the match anyway. I'm just waiting for the perfect um, for the perfect broadside to get it in here. And here's one. And here's one directly with the Bismarck. Uh, he's coming out. Let's see what we can get directly. I'm telling you, I do love these guns. These guns are very nice. They're they're complete rail guns, and I got all us uh, over 7k of damage there. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. But still, nobody's uh, now. Nobody's contesting now the cap. I am free to cap it directly. The Veneto went out of the middle ring, so might as well. Since I got the cap, perfect, I'm already reversing not to be detected. Um, now at this I decided to go forward directly because there's no point in staying here. I might as well start having my fun. We have two rings, two caps. Let me shoot again at the Veneto and see if I get another lucky shot with him. And let's see, let's see, and <sighs> very measly 3,900 <laughs> on him. but. I needed to go for besides uh, there was an uh, Nag Nagato or Nagato or whatever you call it and the Bismarck the game the match is almost over I need to start getting forward uh, this time I already have about 123 worth of damage and I said let's wing it I mean honestly let's just go forward and start having a little bit of fun there, I got 9k. Oh, and here's another, a main battery reload uh, time reduce. Now, this reduces it, I can't remember if it's about 10 or 15%, but that's when you reach Confederate. That's another of Luigi's specialities, that when you reach directly Confederate, your battery reload time will go ahead. As you, can, as you will see right now, when I shoot at the Nogato, you're going to see the battery reload uh, reduce. Look, and including the adrenaline rush, look, 23 seconds. And usually this is around 29 seconds. So it wasn't bad. Another two Citadels on this one and another kill. Poor Nogato, I feel bad for it. So, <laughs> but still, we're going forward. I'm detecting here, I'm showing only my bow to them because I know that the Bismarck can't do, if he continues shooting uh, APs at me, and which he's not even targeting me, there's nothing he can't do. I'm doing there. Uh, let's see if I can get another lucky hit on him directly here and uh, 15k of damage directly on the Bismarck, which wasn't that bad. Right now at this moment, I'm already 180 uh, damage on this um, lovely match over here. <laughs> but okay, but we'll go here now with the new Brandenburg that's come, that just came out. The moment when I made this uh, made this match, uh, it was its first or second day that the Brandenburg had come out. 
Um, is it worth a Brandenburg? I don't know. I don't have it. Am, am I gonna get it? Probably, most likely not, because it, I, I don't see anything that appeals to me. Anything uh, that you might say, oh, it, uh, it, I mean, it has one extra turret of the Odin. I already have the Odin. It has torpedoes, which the Odin does, and the turpet has, which I have the turpet. Um, yeah, no, I mean, no, there's, I'm not seeing anything that the Brandenburg can bring on, on the table that would be uh, extraordinary for me to go and buy it. But anyway, the match just ended here, which is a very good match. I ended up doing 191 uh, K of damage, which is uh, amazing. I liked it. So now that you can see here uh, uh, on this match directly, like I said, 191,000 worth of damage with 58 shells, three kills. I was able to do seven citadels with the dispersion on this uh, lovely little ship and uh, got four airstrikes, four airstrike hits on that submarine, which was able to kill it and, as well. So I got... Confederate, First Blood, High Caliber, and Devastating Strike on this match. Very good match. Now, if we go to the next one, of course, I, I came in with this damage. I did come in first place with three kills and base XP of uh, 2,677, which was quite good, I think. And here comes the damage uh, directly that it was done directly with the 32 with the Nogato, the Fiji 20, 8 8k on the uh, on the u-boat but anyway we're getting to the let's move on to the next one which this is the main purpose why i made directly this video on this video as you can see uh we finally were able to keep directly the money uh which is nine nine hundred and fifty thousand uh, silver now this is where i mean if you can see with the credits, I received uh, 711,000 uh, uh, silver. Now with the modifiers, the, the Kobayashi camo brings an extra 20%, which that from this, it would derive 142,000. And of course I put in only one economic flag, which was the Zulu, which uh, adds another 20%, which the same amount, 142%. Now here comes the interesting part about the camo, the service costs. Because of the camo, it, uh, because of the camo, it gives you 55% less. And well, 50% less because I have an extra 5% from the clan or something like that. Right now it's around 60, but at the moment of shooting this video, it's 60. So it brings down, which it was spent 45,000 uh, silver and it came down to 55% and then the ammunition re resupply. So it brings it down a lot, only to 45. And out of, uh, of the original one that I got, uh, which was 996 silver, I was able to keep directly uh, 950. Now. What I, one thing that I have noticed directly of the Roma itself is, is that on average, uh, because this game was a good one, but on average I get around 100k of damage with the Roma, um, I'm able to get around 700,000 with the modifiers, with including these two modifiers, um, and in service costs, it's around 30, so I'm usually keeping almost all of it um, the with the Kobayashi camo it only adds 20% which okay 20% is a lot but it's like a permanent Zulu flag that you have on that but I think what really is make makes a money maker on this one besides the fact that it's a premium ship a true premium ship not one of those special ships um, is that it brings a little bit more extra money and uh, the service costs is 50%. So most of the money that you, most of the money that, or the silver that you make, you are keeping it. And this is what was missing in a lot of the YouTube videos that I wanted to see about the Kobayashi Camo, the famous beer can. What does the Kobayashi Camo do to make it um, special? So for me, because I couldn't find it, I decided to 
pull the plug, buy the Roma and pay the doubloons for the Kobayashi. Uh, now, is it worth it? Well, it's up to you guys. Uh, it's up to you because I spent 7,000 7, doubloons on the camo itself. Uh, in this, and this is why I'm showing you right now on this slide what the what it brings, what are the benefits it brings. So the decision is up to you guys. Uh, I will tell you for one thing: for those that cannot get the, um, for those that don't have the Missouri or the Jean Bart, uh, they say that this is the third best option. I. I'm not regretting it. I don't know. I don't have those two ships, but this this has turned out to be my ship for whenever I need silver. This is the one that it helps me grind the silver. Now let's go with the build directly. Now uh, with the build, uh, as you see, I have uh, Luigi Sansonetti. So this is uh, directly what I have. I have a gun feeder, which is a speciality of uh, Sansonetti, which. You can change from uh, HE to AP, or if you put him in another uh, on one of the tech line trees uh, ships, you can from SAP to AP, which is uh, 70, a reduced 75% reload, which is amazing, just like uh, Halsey, you know. Also, what I put in priority target, adrenaline, adrenaline rush, and uh, superintendent to get the extra heal. Uh, I will, my next option will, that I will put is, I will put directly the concealment expert on this, um, because it brings it down to, I think, 11.7 or 11.3, uh, which is amazing for a battleship, it's amazing. Uh, so yes, this is what I've done, and I also, what I've done is, I put it up on the upgrades, I did take the dispersion module, because, uh... I mean, this is like a shotgun. It sh it, this ship throws the shells everywhere except where they need to go. And with the dispersion, it does help a little bit. Well, you've s in the video you did see the shots that it was taking. I was by luck, I was getting citadels, you know, seven of them. <laughs> but anyway, guys, so this is directly what it is with the Roma. I hope you liked the video. I hope you liked the uh, the explanation. And for me, in reality, this is what I wanted to bring. I wanted to bring out directly a video that showed what the camo can do because I wasn't able to do it myself. And I decided, like I said before, I pulled the plug. I mean. I bought the ship, I bought the camo, and if it worked, it worked, if it didn't, it didn't, but this is why I brought it for you guys, if you want to buy it or not, at least you have an idea of what it, of what the camo can do, of the famous beer can, guys. Well, thank you very much, like, dislike, whatever you like, guys, and hope to see you on the next video, guys. Thank you. <laughs> see you, bye-bye.